This week I was on a walk with my dog Frankie when I lost one of my earbuds in my right ear. After downloading an app to help me find it, I found it. With great relief and thanksgiving, I could once again connect with the podcasts that I listen to daily as part of my spiritual practice walking my dog. Connection. God desires a relationship with each of us. We all nurture our connection with God with some version of prayer, study, worship, and honest conversation. This is exactly how I've experienced Breath's ministry among us. Because of his own vibrant and ever-deepening relationship with Jesus, he has connected us to Christ by nurturing and strengthening our desire to be closer to God. Through his gifts of persistent prayer, teaching, leading worship, and honest conversations, Brett has given each of us a new or familiar pathway to go deeper and cultivate an authentic and edifying relationship with God. Since this is his last week with us, I wanted to share my all-time favorite poem with him and with you, which speaks about his connection with God, his connection with us, and his future connection with the parish that will call him to be their priest. The poem is called Islands by Muriel Rukeyser. This is how I imagine her reading it. Oh, for God's sake, they are connected underneath. They look at each other across the glittering sea. Some keep a low profile. Some are cliffs. The bathers think islands are separate like them. Brett will never be separate from us like those bathers. We are connected underneath, all of us. We will be forever connected, rooted and secured underneath in the expansive length, width, height and depth of God's love. Go with God, dearest Brett.